Welcome, my name is Luke Smith, and I'd like to make an offer on your Burger King building in Manistique, Michigan. Uh, this building here uh, brings back memories. I stopped in here with my dad uh, many years ago. Uh, I was on the way back from a camp that I went to, Camp Hiawatha, and, uh, <laughs> and we stopped here. I, re I remember the view. Um, you could eat at this Burger King and, and look out, or from the parking lot, you could look out and you could see the northern part of Lake Michigan. Uh, I grew up in Lake, uh, you know, looking at Lake Michigan and parts of Lake Michigan from Traverse City and Elk Rapids, part of Michigan. My dad would take us to, uh, to Mackinac Island every summer. He loved riding bikes around the island. We would go ride bikes with him and, and tour the island every summer. But uh, the one time coming through here, we stopped at this Burger King on the way back, going across the bridge back down to Traverse City. And uh, so I, I saw this building. I'm like, oh, I've been there. Uh, I, I'd like to work on this one. And uh, so I'm making an offer. I'd like to buy this building. I'd like to tell you a little bit more about myself in this video, along with the offer of buying this building that I'm sending along with this video. I'm sending a proof of funds to be able to pay for it. And this video is more about me and what I'd like to do with this building. Um, okay, so let's jump into it. Uh, this... I found this one on Crexy and uh, David answered the phone and talked to me for a while, a partner of mine for a while. And we asked uh, numerous different questions. He filled in a lot of the, the color about town and, and what's happening and, and um, an update on this building and, and the story of, of what's here and, and what the possibilities of this building entail. So thank you, David, for posting it on Crexy. This is a different Burger King building. If you go back in my history, YouTube history, and look at uh, YouTube videos going back in the last 10 years or something of, you know, close to 1,500 videos about different properties I've worked on, there's one of them is this Burger King, and this one is in Lewistown, Montana. And Lewistown is a, about 6,000 person town. I've worked on a couple Burger Kings in smaller towns, northern smaller towns. Um, this one had a Starbucks right next door. I don't, you can't see it. It's off the screen, but a little tiny baby Starbucks was built right next door. And, and, um, it seemed like it had the bones, but the operator of this one just had the rent way too high. And, um, the whole grouping of, of, uh, operations of, of the operators of this particular Burger King went under It's a hundred something locations went under at the same time. And so I went to work on it. I asked him, I asked him for some time. Let me find a tenant. Let me, let me give me a little bit of time. I'll pay for it. Let me just find a tenant first. And uh, so I started sending mail. That's what I do. I like to send mail. I like to figure out who goes in a building like this, who should use it, who uses this size, this type, this shape, this kind of drive through, who's not here, who is missing from this town, who's in the town that might want to move from their location to this location and look at multiple angles of who should use this building and reach out to them. A passive way of reaching out to them is sending some mail. Uh, you can look back at lots of my YouTube videos about sending mail. I've sent million plus mailers over time to buy properties, uh, sell properties, lease properties. I do a lot of direct mail. So I'll do some direct mail on this one. I plan to do direct mail on this one to help find a tenant for it. There's a bunch of data sets that I've created and worked on and numerous buildings like this one in the background, but for yours in, in Manistique, Michigan, of who goes here, who belongs here, and we can look at the other the other shops that are in the area and the region and the greater greater, bigger region of who's doing good business and who needs new locations, who wants new locations, and we could turn your building into one of their new locations. I'll offer them the finances to resurface it, recolor it, do what they need to do to get their new shop going in there and make it happen. So this building in the background, I did that and I, I called them and I texted them and I mailed them and I tried to grab them by the ear and bring them over to this building and say, this is a building for you. This is a great building. This is you know, we got a bunch of traffic out front and we got the Starbucks next door and this is a good little town and, and you should use this building. And eventually the, um, the largest hospital in Montana, uh, went for it. They ended up with it. They're going to turn it into, they're still working on it. Um, I'm out of the picture, but, uh, they, they're turning it into, uh, an ER kind of place, a medical center. And it's the same kind of square footage as, as your building. And they like having, um, hub and spoke system of their main hospital, not in this town, but one of the, the spokes, uh, going out to this town and having, you know, regional things that they can help people with in, in the town be 
you know, administered in the town, uh, kinds of healthcare stuff, but for more specialized things, you got to go to the main hospital, but having those spokes feed the main hospital and make for better business. And so that's who ended up using this particular one. Another building like this, I worked on in another town, uh, Minnesota one, Burger King. I got a pizza guy that wanted you know, the, the half of the building or like that half with that has the playground, like yours has the playground in the front and uh, the other half with the drive through and the kitchen, he didn't want that part and he wanted to sell that or lease that to somebody else. And that's a different way of tackling this size. That one was a little bit smaller building, but same kind of small town atmosphere and cutting it up and putting two different shops in that building. So I worked on that one for a good long time, um, jostling back and forth uh, to, to figure that out. But these kinds of buildings in these small towns, it's what, what the heck are you going to do with them? That's what's the highest and best use. <laughs> so I've worked on numerous ones and I'd like to work on yours. Okay. So this next picture is a recent picture from the pioneer tribune. And this was dated October 8th of 2024, Tuesday. That's just a couple days ago. And they said, golden arches are coming soon. And there's their picture of the guys breaking ground for McDonald's in Manistique, Michigan. And uh, it looks like they're standing around talking more than working. That's a classic job site, right? <laughs> At least when I drive by or visit. But uh, eventually, I think they'll get the work done and um, <clears throat> make that one happen. They'll turn it into a McDonald's. There's a McDonald's coming down the street. Looking at the traffic that's going by in front of this McDonald's compared to your former Burger King building, We've got more traffic in front of this former Burger King building than what McDonald's is building on. Maybe they've got more shops where they're at and more concentration of people going shopping. But I believe that the roads coming from the, the west and the east coming through here, um, especially coming from the west, people haven't seen a fast food shop in a long time by the time they get to this Burger King and, and the gas station that's next door. And I think they should stop. They should stop and they should... They say, you know, next stop's Mackinac Bridge or, you know, over that direction. So we got to get something here. This is a good location for those kinds of people passing through. That previous shop that I showed you didn't really have that. In Lewistown, Montana didn't have like, uh, uh, you know, traffic coming through the area. The one I was talking about in Minnesota it didn't really have when you're going from somewhere to somewhere. This is just towns, small towns kind of uh dangling off in the wilderness if you will but i think manistique has more traffic coming through crossing the up the southern part of the up either going east or west and we get some of that traffic here um so i've studied that i looked at that and i think that'll help draw uh tenants to this building as well so back to the building so part of the offer that i'm sending you is asking for some time I'm asking for some time because this is a small town and it's hard to find tenants for these kinds of buildings, but I'll put my heart and soul into it and reaching out to everybody that I believe goes here and I'll, I'll offer them the financing to recolor it, retenant. it. They just got to pay the rent and make it happen. So if they're up for this location and paying the rent, I'll put it together, grease the gears, buy it from you as fast as I can and uh, go fix it up for them as, as clean and sweet as possible and deliver it to them, rent them and, and cash flow it from there. Uh, that's why I'm asking for some time. I'd like some time to market to the tenants that belong in this building, whether it's a hospital kind of operator, like in the Montana example I gave you, or other fast food operators or cutting the building in half or two different fast food operators or whatever it may be. I'll look at multiple different scenarios and pitch it and pitch it and pitch it until I get one of them. Uh, or a couple of them to want to go with this building that have the horsepower to pay the rent and pull and help me pull it off. So if you're up for that, that's what my offer is asking. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. This is Luke Smith, ruralvacantland.com. Feel free to watch hundreds of my other videos about other properties I've worked on and uh, see comments and um, great people buying buying real estate from me, selling real estate to me <laughs> in different ways all over social media. You can look me up in county records in most, most any county and uh, find different trades I've done going back over the last, you know, years and years of buying and selling real estate too. Or ask me for examples I'd love to share. Luke Smith, realvacantland.com. See you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.